Does it say Fiji anywhere in the... Uh, this is the moment that prompted the downfall of a senior Conservative MP and sparked a major lobbying scandal. You better just check it, I mean... Yeah. Patrick Mercer is about to sign a contract. He's agreeing to lobby for business interests in a country run by a military dictatorship. Do you want to strike it out? I mean... Yeah. May I strike it out? Yeah, sure. The MP thinks that signing this contract could earn him £24,000 a year. Well, look, let's, let's sign this with pleasure. OK. And, and I have to say thank you for such a generous, a generous offer. Cash for questions is back to haunt Parliament. I've, I've done a whole series, I've done eight All right. um, questions to show you, which I'm so sorry, I'm stuck in my office. No problem. Um, I will put them in unless you want to see them beforehand. Three years ago, David Cameron promised to bring lobbying under control. It's the next big scandal waiting to happen. I'm talking about lobbying. But the law he pledged never materialised, and our fake lobbying company is open for business in Westminster. It's Daniel Mann, worked for Alistair Andrews Communications. The MP on our books has promised us a Westminster pass. Debates. There it is, look. And even put through a Commons motion that we wrote. And he set up a parliamentary committee for us, saying he'll arrange for its report to go to the top. Go in and meet the Foreign Secretary. And we say, look, well, these are our conclusions about this. Now, what are you going to do about it? The lobbying scandal has extended to the House of Lords. Two members have been suspended from their party. Lord Led, I'm yes. Daniel. Good, Good to meet you. How are you, doing? How are you? And this Lord has resigned his party's whip after telling us how he'd tempt other members to join our committee with the prospect of free trips to the South Seas. That I having said this was a bribe. It all goes to show how easy it still is to win parliamentary friends and buy influence in Westminster. In the context of the Spencer scandal, other scandals in Parliament, where trust in politicians is at a very low level, this really is a deeply shocking breach of the rules.